Hey y'all, thanks for checking out Euclid Mining. So I'm going to get right into it. I have a KS0 Ultra, exactly, I have two of them, and I decided to overclock one of them. Now I have a pro that's overclocked and I use PB Farmer. I did use T-Swift, but then I wanted to do PB Farmer because I could actually control the overclock settings and really work for efficiency too uh, with the overclocks, uh, trying to get the miner working the best it could. And it worked great, I had no problems decide to try it on the ultra so i use the software here for the ultra um scroll down you can see it's uh it's right here the uh the ks0 ultra and um it installed everything was great well about a month ago i bought a shroud and a fan i was all excited uh, so i unplugged it i put the shroud on plugged it all back up i'm ready to go going to start the overclocking it wouldn't come up i couldn't bring the web interface up there was some problem so um I tried to ping it. The ping worked, but I wasn't able to bring it up on the interface. Uh, I used Chrome, so I went through the IP address and it wouldn't bring it up. So now I'm kind of freaking out. I'm like, okay, what did I just do? Uh, I just, I just break this thing that I screw something up. Is it just the software or something I did? Or is it that I really screw this? Can it be recovered? I don't know. So I decided, well, it can't get any worse. So let's do some research online, see what I could find. Well, I saw some videos out there. I saw one in particular, hobbyist miner, and he was working on his machine. And this is a, I watched his first video. Then I watched the second video, which is this one. And that's him watching his first video, trying to see where he left off on trying to troubleshoot for his miner. Well, the second video he had, he didn't come up with any results. And now I'm really bummed. And I'm like, well, what am I going to do? So I decided, you know what, I'm going to email Ice River and let them know that um, I had a problem. So I emailed them and I said, hey, I acted real naive, it just stopped working. Um, what should I do? Well, I got this email back. And at first glance, this email is just it's a shut you up email it's just uh try these things uh you know uh whatever you know you feel it's like from a, a tier one tech and they're just like uh try this you know well i dismissed it at first um and then this morning i went back and was like well what exactly does he want me to do because i'm not getting anywhere so unplug the network cable and long press the reset button for 30 seconds i know we've all done this well, before I hadn't been unplugging the network cable for one. So now I unplugged it. I left the miner plugged in by unplugged the network cable. Then I held the reset button and I held it. And about, I don't know, 15, 18 seconds later, the two lights started flashing. But I said, you know what? This guy says 30 seconds and I'm going to give him his full 30 seconds. So I'm holding it. And in about 25 seconds, the red green flashing goes to just solid red. I was like, well, I haven't seen that before. So I held it for five more seconds to give it the full 30. It stayed that red light. And then I released it. And I was like, well, that's new. So uh, I was really happy about that. Also, let me just say that I have uh, advanced port scanner. And um, I use this software to scan for it uh, at the time. And it wasn't bringing it up on the advanced port scanner. It was only bringing up the one ultra, not the second one. So um, that's uh, for starters. Also, I was using this and I wasn't able to scan it and find it. Uh, but I was able to ping it. So um, that was on there. So then I was like, okay, uh, that was new. So uh, let's see what else they have to say. Now they want me to get the batch processing tool. And I'm like, well, I'm not batch processing anything. I'm not doing multiple machines at once. What do I need this for? It's like, you know what? I'm going to download it. We're going to get it because we're going to see what it does. Well, I downloaded it and this is it right here. So it's right off of Ice Rivers page, uh, products, manuals, and tools. Um, this is it. I downloaded this. So, um, I went to the, I, so this, this, so I downloaded this and I thought, okay, well, let's, let's scan this. Um, so I, I clicked the scan and, uh, let's click connected. Uh, I did have to put in, um, the range for the IP that I wanted to scan and wouldn't you know it, but two of them showed up. I was like, oh my God, there it is. Went back to the Chrome, typed in the IP address and nothing still wouldn't come up couldn't make the connection i was like okay i pinged it obviously the ping worked it's showing up here i was like wow that's great checked it on advanced port scanner and now it was showing up on there but when i clicked the link to go to it on that particular one it wouldn't go it would just time out again same thing when i clicked in here you can click on the ip address here and it would just time out and i was like well we're getting somewhere it's showing up here now 
And that for me was a big win. So baby steps. The next thing I decided, start a look at this thing. And I'm like, well, what else can I do with this? And I saw a config and I'm like, well, what's that? I said, well, this looks like my minor. I mean, it's not my minor settings, but it's it looks like it's what it would be on the web interface. So I was like, oh, you know, um, I saw it was uh, EU1 for the pool. And I'm like, okay, so it's factory reset. So I thought, well, let me bring up my other minor and put the information in here, you know, put my, my pool for the US1, uh, my wallet, my worker name, password, and I clicked update. Well, I was looking at the pool on uh, Casper pool. Let me bring that one up over here. And the, uh, uh, the pro was showing and the ultra two was showing and that was it. Well, now I put my settings in and I hit the um, apply on there or the update right here. And then I waited and I guess I waited probably about, I don't know, two minutes. I figured I'd let it, uh, I didn't know if it was rebooting or if it was just doing whatever it was doing. So I waited maybe a little bit more than two minutes, maybe two, three minutes. And then I clicked reboot just to make sure that the settings were in. So I did that. I waited a few minutes, came back to this, did the scan again, still showing up. And I looked in here in config and my settings are in there. And I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. My stuff's there. I wonder if it's mining. So I hopped over and wouldn't you know, showed up here. And I'm thinking, well, you know what? If I can't use the web interface through Chrome, getting through the IP address, but I've got to use this and this works. Well, you know what? I did it to myself. It's super basic. It kind of sucks, but I'm, I'm mining and I'm back, right? But that's not good enough. I want things back the way they were. So I got it running. It's doing good. I looked at the fan settings. I'm like, oh, look, I could even change my fan here. I'm like, I guess it's not too bad. Um, I just thought maybe whatever. So then I'm looking at a little bit more and I see firmware upgrade. <laughs> now I'm getting to, the, to a point where I'm like, wow, do I roll the dice because it is mining, it is showing up on the pool and it is working. Um, I should just be happy at this point that I dodged some sort of bullet or maybe I fixed it or maybe I didn't. I don't know what I've done right yet. I just know that it's working. And I pushed a bunch of buttons that I've never used before in my life. So I decide, you know what? <laughs> We're going to go for it. We're going to go for it and see what happens. So I hit my IP range. I choose that one. It does uh, the scan on here. It's showing all of them. Um, I let's scroll down. We can find them. Here they are right here. And um, the firmware, I had to add firmware. So when I clicked add firmware, uh, the KS was the only option, and then I select the firmware, and then when I downloaded the firmware, and I will show you that one um, here, so I went to Ice River again, firmware download section, and I found my software right here, the Ultra, and I was going to download this. Now, it does say that this is updating software for the KS Zero Ultra, um, but it also says that if your miner is running fine, you don't really need to do this and actually you probably shouldn't do this if it's not necessary um this is sort of like a beta um a firmware and you really don't need to uh, it says it in here somewhere that um if you're running fine uh, you really don't need to do it so well i'm not really running fine i'm running i guess i'm running fine but not where i want to be so i download it so um i bring up the interface and Let's bring that up. And um, I go to my, my download folder and I'm like, well, this is the folder. I'm like, but you know, where is it? Um, came as a zip file, uh, a raw file. I had to unzip it um, and it's not showing up. So I'm doing a little reading on that page. It says you actually have to do it as a uh, the BGZ file. And then wouldn't you know it, there it is. So I did that and I clicked open and um, I'm gonna click cancel because I don't have to. But now the firmware showed up right here. And then I have to choose, I guess if I hit upgrade, it would do it as the batch and do everything. Um, but I just clicked the one that I wanted to do. It was the one, uh, I think it was 185. 185, I think that was the one, 185, was the one that I had to do. And um, so I just highlighted that one. I crossed my fingers and I said, really, I hope this does something. And I clicked upgrade. And it took a little while. Um, it rebooted the miner. 
uh, the software locks up and it doesn't let you do anything else while that's happening. And then once it reboots and then once it finally reestablishes connection, then the software um, releases. If you try to click on anything in here, it'll say, please wait for the action to, to finish performing or something along those lines. So you have to wait. So it did it. It finally came back and, um, and it worked. Uh, the miner is still showing up on the pool, but now is it showing up in the GUI? Can I get onto it from Chrome? So I typed in the IP address and there it is. Came up. It's been running for an hour and six minutes and 47 seconds. And not much else I can say about that. Uh, this miner always did run under the 400, uh, typically around 395 it would run. So it's uh, hopefully still ramping up a little bit more here. Um, that 387 is a little lower than it ran before. But nonetheless, this is it and it is running. Uh, let me refresh it real quick. And uh, yeah, it's running really smooth. I will say uh, that the uh, fan settings in the Ice River software, if you change it there, when I came into here, uh, in the minor settings here, it was still uh, dynamic, meaning that it was changing depending on the temperature of the miner. I like mine being static where it's always at 75%. So I put the check mark, I put 75 and click save. And, um, and it's always at 75%. I get the best temperatures, uh, runs really well like that. Uh, you can see 60, 51. There is no shroud or fans on this. There's not even a top fan uh, helping exhaust it. This is just the fans inside and it's still running really well. So I, I am extremely happy with the, uh, the temperatures. Uh, the other miner I have, this is it right here. And you see it's been running for a day and 18 hours. Now that one's been, they, they both have been running for really since I've actually got the miners. But uh, yesterday I had to uh, turn the uh, power supply off when I was doing all the work, um, putting the shroud and everything on. And I've got one of those HP server power supplies with the uh, parallel miner breakout board, a little uh, shameless plug, go check them out. I love their power supplies. If you want to watch one of those videos, I'm going to have one right up over there at the end of this video. You can watch it. And if uh, it helps you and you want to use the uh, link in the description, uh, it helps support the channel at parallel miner. So uh, definitely give it a check out. I think you'll like it. There you go. Enough said. Anyway, um, this miner has been running really well. and. Um, it's uh it's running better than the other one this one runs around uh 404 403 um so uh can't really complain and this one like i said is uh usually runs just under 400 so anyway y'all look i hope i just didn't like you know vomit all of this out and it's uh just complete incoherent uh babble and i hope this helps somebody i'm not saying you should do any of these things i'm saying you should do your own research these are all of the things that I did, and I was unfamiliar with any of these things or any of the tools that I was using um, as far as that batch software. Um, I had never used it before, so I figured, like I said, I was dead in the water. Why not give it a shot? Um, maybe yours has a different route where it can be salvaged and fixed uh, uh, somewhere else or in a different way, so you should always look into all those options, but this way worked for me. So anyway. I appreciate y'all watching. If you want to watch that video about the power supplies and powering these miners, I think it's the best thing out there. It's going to be right up over there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, button's right over there. I appreciate y'all checking in. Drop some comments down below if it helped. Really would appreciate it. Definitely uh, let me know if something helped you. All right, I'll see you next time.